Hi. Um, so this video is, I guess, the first in um, I guess it might be a new series. Um, I think I'll title it "Old Arts Book Reviews," where I will review books that's been out for a while. Um, obviously, a good book is a good book, no matter how old it's been out. And um, I see recently there was a um, but that was a while ago a thrift store that was near me that went out of business and well, actually they moved. But they had like a big sale, a bunch of books. So I bought a bunch of books cheaply. Um, also, you know, going to the library and other places so I can find, you know, or just books I had lying around. So I figured I might do reviews. So the first book I'm going to review is Thomas Friedman's um, The World is Flat. I'm not sure see it. I think it's somewhere. The World is Flat. Now, um, it's been out for a while, but it's, uh, I think it's, Kind of relevant again, and it has nothing to do with um, flat earther theory, like um, Kyrie Irving or B.O.B. People who think the world is actually flat. It's not about you being able to fall from a good door. Um, this book is about um, it's more like the economy. Um, when he's, the, the idea of the earth being flat, it's that um, people are now being more equal, I guess, pretty much, in a way. The um, barriers that some people might have had in the past in like third world countries are being kind of being erased for some people. With the internet and stuff like that, we're being able to connect it, and so it's able for people to do stuff, get work, that they might not have had before. Um, that's pretty much the theory. That's the book. So you don't have to read it anymore. No, nah, seriously. Um, <laughs> it, it's an interesting book. Um, it came out about 10 years ago. Um, oh, this is the third edition, I should say. Uh, the World is Flat. What was it? 3.0. Um, so it was the updated version. Was, I think this is, I believe this is the last updated version they did that came out in 2007. The original book came out in 2004, I believe. Uh, the first version, um, 2005. Okay. So, um, being that, oh, there are some things that I think are a little dated, um, a little bit, but, um, you know, stuff like how quick the internet thing changes. So, they're talking about things like MySpace, AOL, you know, that does seem a little... Old and it, some of it, I think it was probably old when it came out. When I think about it, Did we use AOL in 2005. We moved on back then. Uh, but uh, <laughs> um, but I do think it's a good book. Um, like I said, there's some part it's, when you start off, it might seem a little uh, outdated. Um, he starts off going into the history of things like the internet a little bit. Escape. Um, I think at first I realized, you know. There's an age difference between me and the guy who wrote the book. He's, I'm not sure how old he is, but um, I think it's different because I kind of grew up internet-wise on that stuff like that. And think it's, and if you're if you're older, some of them might be, oh, this is new. I didn't really know this. But you kind of, you know, my age grew up with it. And then people younger, I can say it might be more like history, you know. Uh, <laughs> and that's how it starts. Um, so. I guess we all know about outsourcing. That's common now. Um, what I really think was relevant for, still relevant, is um, the end, around the end of the book. Um, he starts talking about things like um, goes into Al Qaeda and stuff like that. Not really in deep or anything. Like, I guess, hmm, I don't give to, well, it's not really a given away, but it's just like, the theory is like, oh, and the reason, like before, before he talks about you know India, how they came out of poverty uh, with internet, and you know, now it is um, a new middle class to emerge, that and have an opportunity people who were able to get education that didn't, because now we have broadband, that's really what it is. Um, people that were went to school before they would have to go to another country like America or somewhere in Europe or something to get a chance, but now they can work at home or not at home home, but, you know, in their home country and without having to go anywhere and still work. And, like, if they're computer programmers and stuff like that, um, of course, you have um, customer service people. 
Um, stuff like that. And that's probably what he means by the world being flat. Like, those jobs can go somewhere else, which might, you know, and what is America, you know, we have to do. What I find interesting, as I said, something about Al-Qaeda, he was talking about, and I think it's relevant now, because I think um, some of the things that he was talking about, like, the problem was, like, in a lot of Arab countries, there was a theory he said um, about um, a country is only good, like, a problem is, like, a country has hope or a good future if, well, I don't know how do you put it, but he's pretty much just saying, if you have more m memories of your past than dreams of the future, um, you're not in a good, your country's not in a good spot. And I think it's relevant now, uh, for a lot of things, I think, I think it's a lot of it. Um, how, I guess, you're talking about, I guess at the end he was talking about how the world may not be flat anymore, like the equality of, I want to say equality, that's not quite the right word, but the openness of the, uh, the world economy be more open because of broadband, some borders being open, you know, um, that can be beneficial for a lot of people. There can be some issues for people too as well, let's be honest. But how that would come to end is like, like I was talking about the part where um, people might close off their borders. Um, and like, yeah. I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling. But, um, I find it, as I was saying, I, what I think is interesting now is that it seems like we're in that space a little bit, kind of worrying about, like, are we on the edge? Because, like, let's be honest, one, uh, President Trump, he won. Um, one of the things is the slogan that he used was, make America great again. That was very backwards looking. Um, and, like, I guess I mentioned, like, the world is flat now because we open our borders now. Like literally, like to be what we're open, an open society, and he's a guy who he, he ran. He was talking about building a wall. Um, I think it's very interesting, um, stuff like that. Um, I, I wouldn't mind seeing his take on that or something, but yeah. So we have this era now where we might be. I suppose like when he wrote this book, I think people were just getting to used to the idea they were. Like, oh yeah, outsourcing and stuff like that. They, you knew what was going on, but it was a book that put it down, you know, explain it to people. Um, why it could be a benefit for people. Even, you know, you're worried about, oh, my job's going over to the country, and that is a problem. Um, well, I guess it's also like, well, it can also be a benefit, depending on, you know, how you handle it. Um, I guess the idea is that some level of jobs will go, but I guess... Being, we are in America, like, we need to work harder, not just, like, just work on doing the same type of jobs, but you can benefit from what they're doing at a cheap price to go something above that. Um, we have to be more, I guess his, his name is that we have to be creative and, as well as intelligent, you know, and all that. Um, what the, um, like I said, I think it's a good book. Um, let me see. Um, besides us relevant, I think, I think it's important that he was talking about education, you know, stuff like that, and that we, you know, build up education a little bit. That's a very interesting, that's a very important thing in our flat earth. Cool books now, so I can do quotation marks. Flat earth. Um, you know, so we have, everyone has a fair shot. Um, I think it's interesting. Um, there are some things that I might think it would have been interesting to get into. Um, I guess, a little bit, a little bit into, like, education. I guess it would be interesting to talk about um, if we are in a flat earth, our educational system, it's very uneven. Some people, you're, if you're born in a certain economic status, you get a better education because, you know, our setup is taxes or maybe private schools and stuff like that, um, than other. Um, if we as a nation need to compete, should, I kind of wonder, it'd be interesting to talk about how we should better the education for everybody so they can compete. Um. That would be an interesting thing. I would have liked to see something go into that a little bit more. Um, he did a little bit. Not necessarily America. He did mention something in, um, somebody did something in India for the Untouchable cast. Uh, we gave him a thing up. It's interesting. Um, but I was saying, this book, I think it's still relevant. You might find it a little outdated at first. Um, but I think stick with it. It's, even... Even things I found 
like, oh, I kind of knew that. There was also stuff like I didn't know, or like um, I thought it was interesting. You brought the founding of Netscape, how that helped open the internet, so like to everyone, and everything that that was interesting. Like I remember using Netscape, but I didn't know like the backstory and everything like that. Um, so there's like stuff that's interesting, even if you do know the basics, um, and. Yeah, I would say check it out. Um, I, I got this book um, at a thrift store. Um, it was a very big book at the time it came out. Uh, I remember it being like talked about on uh, like the media, like if you watch like political shows, they kind of show stuff like that, uh, podcast, radio shows that Thomas Friedman was often on. So, and I believe it was it was a big seller. I mean, they did three editions. So. Um, I am sure you will probably also find it in a thrift shop because a lot of times when you get books that are this big or like super big, people read it. After a while, they don't want to keep it around. You know, give it to thrift shop or something. Um, you, so you can easily find or probably find it there or the library. Um, if you even want to buy it on full price, buy it on Amazon or something. You can, but you can buy it cheap. You know? So I would say it's a good book. Pick it up. So that's it. Um, goodbye. Um, oh, and if you like, like and subscribe. I will be doing more book reviews sometime in the future. Uh, more often. Alright. So goodbye. And if you have anything I think I should check out, let me know in the comments, I guess. If I find it for cheap or whatnot, I might read it and review it. Okay.